Hello guys, so we are going to continue with chapter three. So the lesson is lesson 3.5. Uh, we're going to continue again with the Supreme Court cases. Every team shall know. The objective is the student will be able to identify a central idea of a text and analyze its development over the course of the text. So remember, you know, prior the lesson prior this one we read about teens who felt their first amendment rights were you know were violated today we we'll read about the effect of the court's ruling you know in tinker des desmonois independent school district we also read about a second case involving students so first what are we going to do the vocabulary guys first one it is disruption meaning something that stops an action or event from continuing example what is one situation that can cause a disruption during the school day one situation that can cause a disruption during the school day is an early dismissal early release impulse it is a verb meaning to force someone to accept a rule Example, why has your school imposed a ban on? My school has imposed a ban on accessing social media on school computers. So we're going to continue with this, you know, court cases. The court did not, however, grant students an unlimited right to self-expression. It said First Amendment guarantees must be balanced against a school's needs to keep order. As long as an act of expression doesn't disrupt classroom or school activities or invade the rights of others, it's acceptable. Regarding the student in this case, the deviation consisted only in wearing other sleeve a band of black cloth. The court said, they caused discussion outside of the classrooms but not interfere with work and no disorder. The impact. In 1986, applying the disruption test from the Tinker case, the Supreme Court upheld the suspension of Matthew Fraser, a 17-year-old 70, you know, senior in Tacoma, Washington. He gave his school a speech containing sexual innuendos. You know, Bethel School District versus Fraser. You know, and this is another case, guys. The court said it is highly appropriate function of public school education to prohibit the use of vulgar and offensive terms and public disclosure. So who was Tammy Hawkins? He was the editor of the Spectrum in 1988. That year, the Supreme Court ruled the school could refuse to publish certain, you know, articles. So we're going to learn what those articles are about. I'm going to turn the page and I'm going to make sure that you guys can see everything. Okay. So that should do that. So what happened? Let's do the another one. What was the issue? The student journalism and the First Amendment. What was the bottom line? Kathy, you know, Kaufmeyer, Lizzie Smart, and Lenny, you know, Tippett, juniors at Hasselwood East High School in St. Louis, Missouri, helped write and edit the school paper, the Spectrum, as part of the journalism class. An issue of the paper was to include articles about the impact of divorce on students and teen pregnancy. The school's principal refused to publish the two stories, saying they were too sensitive for younger students and contained too many personal details. The girls went to court, claiming their First Amendment right to freedom of expressions has been violated. What was the ruling? The Supreme Court ruled against the girls. A school newspaper is in a public forum in which anyone can voice an opinion. 
the course set. Rather, it is a supervised learning experience for a student interested in journalism. Educators do not offend the First Amendment by exercising you know, editorial control over the style and content of a student's speech and a school-sponsored expressive activities, the course said. So long as their actions are reasonably you know, related to the le le legitimate educational concerns. What was the impact? The schools may censor newspaper and restrict other forms of student expressions. This includes theatrical productions, yearbooks, creativity writing assignments, and campaign and graduation speeches. But the court's you know, ruling and Hasselwood in court school, uh, school to look closely at a student's activity before imposing any restrictions. Close reading. Key idea. What did the ruling of Hasselwood in school district you know, versus you know, called Meyer? determine. The ruling determined that schools can limit expressions, you know, when students participate in the school activities. How does the course ruling affect the student's newspaper moving forward? Underline details to support your response. The course ruling affects students' newspaper because it, it allows a school to censor what a students write. At the same time, it encourages school to look closely um, at a student activity before imposing any restrictions. But we need to respect what you guys' opinions and what you guys, you know, what, how you guys wanted to express your opinions. Stretch, what should every teen know about, you know, the Supreme Court cases? Every teen should know about these cases because each ruling affects the rights the students have at school. Okay, so we're going to continue, but uh, not today. This is all for me. If you still have any questions, let me know. Have a good day, guys.